Okay, so let's look at question two now. It says table three below shows the bus fare in rands, including 14% VAT for a single trip. Now I've made a note here, for this um, paper, VAT was 14%, but now in 2022, VAT is 15%, and you're expected to know that. So please, when you're making your notes for Mathlet, make a note of that, because that is expected, okay, as like almost assumed knowledge. So over here, how we read this is it's saying, well, PE to Grahamstown costs me 305 Rand. Now, you could be saying, well, why is it all these blanks? Well, we don't go from PE to PE. We don't pay money to go where we are, right? So be careful about understanding this. So over here, going from King's Williams King Williamstown to PE would be 320. So that's how you read this. I'll read it more as we answer the questions. So it says here, write down the second highest bus fare for a single trip between the two cities. So... If you just look, and this takes a bit of practice, but if you look over this, the most expensive is 5 on 5. And then the second most expensive is 465, which would be Valcom, right? So it doesn't ask us to say where it was. It asks us to say what is the amount. So we say 465 Rand. Please make sure that you put in your units because that's where a lot of students lose marks. So not a difficult thing, just asking us to read. Then it says, between which two cities is the single bus fare 350 Rand? Okay, so let's look here. 350 Rand, Queenstown and King Williamstown, right? Is there anywhere else? Look across, look across. No, it's Queenstown and King Williamstown. Write that out. Okay, make sure that you spell it correctly because there's no excuse not to because the words are there for you. Let's now move on to the slightly meatier questions. A person travels from PE to Bloemfontein via another city, City X, and uses two different buses. So they go PE, City X, City X, Bloemfontein. The total cost for this one-way trip is 755 Rand. Calculate the cost from PE to City X. Now, the way that the memo's done this, I don't agree with. So I'm going to show you how I would do this because it's the most logical way. You say, okay, they're not going straight from PE to Bloem. They're going via somewhere else. So we let's go through all the different situations that we could have here. We can go from Grahamstown to Bloemfontein. And if I add those together, that's 740. So we know that it's not that one because it has to add up to 755. Add these two together, 755. So we know it can be that. Add these ones together, this is 805. Can't be that one, too expensive. This one from um, Alliwell North, right? And then go from Aliwell North to Bloemfontein. It would be 410 plus 410, which would be 820. So it's not that one. And then obviously we can't go from PE to Bloem because it's saying that we're not going directly. We're going via another city. Then we have Valcom. Um, so it can go PE Valcom and then Valcom Bloem. And that is 850 Rand. Okay. So it's not that. So the only city it can be is King Williamstown. So... The calculate the cost from PE to City X, right? From PE to City X, we know is going to be 320 Rand. So you can just write there 320 Rand, and you can say, well, that's from PE to King Williamstown. Okay. Now it's a bit of a weird one because a lot of um the questions here, it's assuming that you only find City X in the second question. But I don't agree with, with that line of thought. They actually should have asked you city X first and then asked you for the amount. Okay. So we see that um, from PE, right, to King Williamstown is a 320. And then we see that from King Williamstown to Bloom is 435. So what is city X? It is King Williamstown. Okay. Make sure that you're writing this out clearly. I, I realize that my handwriting is a little bit crusty, right? But please make sure that you're writing as legibly as possible. It then says, determine the cost excluding 14% VAT of a single bus fare of 365 Rand. Now, please remember when you're including and excluding VAT, there's different operations. When you're including, right? When you're including, you times by 1.15 in our case. In this case, it's 14 because it's outdated. If you're excluding, you divide by 1.15, okay? Because we're excluding, we're going to divide by 114, okay? So we're going to put that in. 
we're going to say 365 divided by 1.14. Just literally put that into your calculator. 365 divided by 1.14. And it gives you 320.18. Please remember when you're doing these questions, you must always round off when it comes to money to two decimal places. And that's your answer there. Okay. We have one more question for this video, and then I will do the latter half of this question, this broader question. Okay, so that's that done. Please remember your units as always. Um, let's now look at the last question. Lindiwe travels from Queenstown to Bloemfontein and back once a month. Calculate her total re uh, return traveling cost for one year. How many months in a year? 12 months. Okay, so let's do one month first. Okay, so one month is going to be, where does it say? Queenstown to Bloemfontein, right? So it's 410, so you say 410, but it's return, hey? Because remember it said, and back. So that's times by two, so that's 820 per month, okay? But they didn't ask it for per month, they ask it for a year. So you say 820 times by 12, put that in your calculator, 820 times by 12, and your total cost there is 9,840 for one year, right? And that is your final answer. Okay, I'm going to start another video for the second half of this, but I hope you're following nicely through this paper. It's quite, quite a reasonable paper thus far.